So what is the best patterning bismuth shot shell on the market? Well, today's the day to put that to the test. This is George with the New Hunter's Guide, and today it is Bismuth Wars. We have a pretty cool test that I've been looking forward to, and thanks to a viewer sending in a couple shells, we are gonna be able to test Kent Bismuth, and we're gonna test that against Heavy Bismuth, and we're gonna put that against Winchester's brand new tin-plated Bismuth, and we're gonna put that against Boss Copper-plated Bismuth. And we're gonna pattern test each of these loads at 40 yards. We're gonna draw a 30 inch circle and count how many pellets we get in that circle. We're gonna juice it up with the Mossberg 940 Pro Waterfowl with its 28 inch barrel. And we're gonna test all of these loads through the Carlson's Bismuth Bone Buster Choke Tube. I guess this is also kind of like a review for the Bismuth Bone Buster Choke Tube also. But I've done some other testing, a few videos that maybe have already aired some that haven't and this choke tube has been a monster for bismuth and today we're going to see how it does with four of the most prevalent bismuth loads on the market between these four shells we're making up the vast majority of the bismuth loads that are out there and arguably some of the other loads out there are these exact same shells but branded differently now each one of these loads are three inch one and three eighths ounces of bismuth traveling at 1450 feet per second with the exception of the boss it's going at 1350 feet per second they are all number four shot so in terms of number of pellets they are identical so this should be a perfect apples to apples pattern test all right let's head down to the range we are down at the range we've got the bismuth bone buster choke eye protection ear protection and we will lead off with the heavy shot All right, next on the list, we've got the Kent. All right, let's change paper and we'll do the next two. And now for the Winchester tin plated bismuth. And now the Boss copper plated bismuth. All right, let's go see how we did. I've got these all laid out. I'm gonna count them, but let's just take a quick look. First, we have the heavy shot. Definitely a dead duck. Next, we have the Kent. That duck is dead. Next, we have the Winchester. That's a very dead duck. And then last, we have the Boss. Safe to say there is no way that these ducks could be any deader, but I'm gonna count every pellet and get you guys the data as well as some other data points. But before we get to the data, I wanna give you guys a quick word from the sponsor of this video, and that would be me. No one's paying for this video. I'm the one out here on my own accord trying to do a pattern test on a hot, windy day for some reason. But I would really ask you guys to support the channel by clicking the like button. Every time you hit that thumbs up button, it helps these videos reach more people. And if you like videos and tests like this, questioning assumptions, trying to get real data, I'd also invite you to click the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. All right, back to the action. Okay, now it's time for the fun part, the data. But first, a couple of notes. While this was not a ballistics gel test, I have ballistics gel tested every one of these shells. Some of the videos have already aired, some may air in the future. But what I have found, guys, is that extra 100 feet per second that three of the rounds are getting over the boss amounts to about two to 8% more penetration in the ballistics gel. Now, I actually contacted Boss about this. I was like, how come you guys don't make your loads go at 1,450 feet per second or faster? And this is what they told me. They said, you cannot kill them any deader. In essence, going any faster does not produce more kills. You can't kill them any deader than you can at the current speed. And they're able to offer various benefits for that speed and we're gonna look at those in a minute. I've got a couple of charts for you, but let's lead off with the one you're all waiting for, the pattern test. So if you take a look at this, at the top of the list, I've got Boss 
at 149 pellets in the circle, which is 70%. After that, heavy shot, 141 pellets, or 66%. Then we've got the Winchester at 190 pellets, 89%. Then the Kent came in at 176 pellets, or 83% in the circle. Now, that looks like it's really good for the Kent and the Winchester. And it is. Those are impressive numbers. But people often ask me, well, what about fragmentation? What about broken pellets? So I paid careful attention to that. The boss had the fewest number of broken or fragmented pellets. Uh, the others had more. The Kent and the Winchester, they actually ended up with the most. In fact, the Kent had drastically more, double what everybody else had. And I tried my best to only count pellets that were not fragmented, but it was hard. And when you have that much fragmentation, you're likely to have um, increased counts in the circle that aren't legitimate. So I, may, I was able to control for some of that, but I don't know that I was able to control for all of it. So the boss may have a lower score than the Kent and then the Winchester, but almost every one of those pellets were full size hits, whereas the other ones had a lot more fragmented hits and probably inflated the number to some degree. But either way, no matter how you slice it, very impressive performance from the new Winchester load and the Kent load. But guys, I want to show you some other things. Take a look at this chart right here. The boss actually comes in significantly cheaper than the other three. And these were real prices that I pulled for all four loads all on the exact same day. They're certainly going to fluctuate and depends on where you look. But this is the price they were going for. Not cost per box, cost per shell. Interesting thing to note also, Boss does come in smaller quantities. They come in 20 shells per box, whereas the other ones come in 25. So of course I divided by 20 instead of 25. These are cost per shell, but you get the Boss boxes much cheaper than the others. The cost per shell is lower and the quantity is lower, so you can buy a box of Boss for a lot less. So you may have that increase in performance for the Winchester or the Kent. Debatable increase in performance because you do have more fragmentation but you have a much lower cost per shell for the boss and now take a look at this chart right here this is the recoil energy I took the ounces of shot I calculated the powder charge as best as I could same with the wad and this is what we came out with the boss actually has 30% less recoil than all of the other three so for that extra 100 feet per second, you come up with between 2 and 8% more penetration, but you come up with 30% more recoil, and that is a lot more recoil, guys. So what is the bottom line? Well, the Winchester did have the best score, but based on recoil and cost, I think the Boss is still my personal favorite. I think they have the best price shell in the market, and their performance is impressive. But any one of these is gonna kill a duck, and what you guys need to do next, click this video right here and check out some ballistics gel testing for these individual shells. Till next time guys, I really appreciate you. God bless you and go get them in the woods.